Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing about the important interview coding questions which can be asked from you in the cognizant interview. Okay, so asking of co uh, coding question is uh, is common in Gen C Pro or Gen C Next role. Okay, so guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because in this video I will be discussing top fifteen coding questions which are very important as well as common in the cognizant interview. Okay, don't skip any of these questions because the same questions might repeat in your interview as well. Okay, and guys, in this later part of this video, I will also be telling you about the important interview I2 subject notes, which can be the one-stop solution for your preparation for the cognizant interview. Okay, coding question I will discuss in this video. But what about different subjects like Java questions, Python questions, SQL or DBMS questions? which are very important in constant interview okay so make sure to watch this video till the end so guys now let's start this video but before starting the video make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because constant interviews have started and regularly we will try to bring the interview experiences with you okay and do join this telegram group also it is dedicated for 2025 batch students wherein we are discussing different different companies hirings for 2025 batch all the relevant links you will find in the description box so guys now let's start this video okay so guys the first question is implement binary search algorithm so guys there are c i have discussed in many videos that sorting algorithms and all the search algorithms are very important for the interview and in search also linear search and binary search are there and if i talk about binary search let's just discuss the algorithm quickly so you will be given a sorted array wherein you will have to find an element okay so in this case you will find you will be implementing the binary search algorithm for finding that element so this is the pseudo code that is given to you okay just apply it just you can take the screenshot for it and just try to apply it and you will be good to go okay this is a very important question as per the interview is concerned okay next question is calculate the factorial of a number so what is a factorial of a number so let's suppose if you have four okay so if you have four what is the factorial of four so it is one into two uh, into 3 into 4 okay into 3 and into 4 that is equal to 24 so you just have to run a loop from i equal to 2 till n and you have to just keep on multiplying that i into the result variable okay if you will look at this closely okay so i'm just telling you the questions really fast and the algorithm that is used but you will have to learn their code in deep and you, by practicing it okay so i hope this algorithm is clear to you this is the calculate the factorial of a number next question is cadans algorithm now many of you do not know what is a cadans algorithm so if you are given an array and you need to find the maximum sum of a sub array inside that uh, inside the array because see an array can consist of negative numbers as well and positive numbers as well but if in an array you need to find the maximum sum sub array then cadans algorithm is used so this is the algorithm for using the cadans algorithm okay so i hope this uh, thing is clear to you okay this is the algorithm so yeah let's move ahead okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that we have important interview it subject notes on the top mid page of code bashers see in this video i have i have covered that important coding questions which can be asked in the cognizant interview but what about the rest of the subjects if i talk about we have various clusters in the cognizant interview whether this it is java python okay but in all the clusters Java questions are asked, Python questions are asked, DBMS, SQL, coding questions are asked. All those subjects which are important for your interview, we have clubbed them for every subject around 20 to 25 important questions and their answers are present inside these notes. Okay, So these notes can help you uh, prepare at the last minute for your interviews. So we have clubbed them. If I will show you the, what I say, demo uh, uh, sample of this PDF, of Java PDF, so you can see here. What is the difference between JDK, JR and JVM? So we have covered the question. We have covered the answer, how you have to answer in the interview. Similarly, for every subject, 20 to 25 questions and answers are there. And I've dis I'm discussing the coding questions in this video. But you can see here, we have provided those coding questions as well inside these notes as well. So you just have, don't have to take the screenshot for this video. You can take these notes and you can see that all the uh, important IT subjects are covered in these notes, which can help you for your last minute preparation. Okay, so if you are interested in these notes, the links you can find in the description box. Okay, so now let's continue with the video. For the next question, is a find number of pair in an array with sum equivalent to k. That is, what is a pair x1 plus x2 is equivalent to 
let's suppose k so you need to find you are given an array and you need to find the number of pairs whose sum is equivalent to k so how we will do it so here we will be using the hash map based approach wherein if we will try to change this equation it will, it will become x2 equivalent to k minus x1 okay we know k okay what we will do we will iterate over the array and one by one we will store each and each element inside the hash map and at every step we will check whether this k minus x1 is present in the hash map or not if it is present it means the pair exists whose sum is equivalent to k okay this is what it is done here okay so i hope now this is clear to you if this condition is successful we will try to find this uh, expression inside the hash map and if it is successful it means that pair is present and we will do count plus plus i hope this question is also clear to you next question is implement stack using array okay implement stack using array and implement queue using array so again th these are very basic question and commonly asked cognizant interview questions okay so here it is given okay uh, this is the implementation of stack using the array you can see for yourself first of all if you should know what is a stack stack follows leafo approach last in first out one two three four five so if we are putting all the elements inside the stack what will be the first element that will be getting out it will be five then four then three then two then one this you will have to implement using the array i hope this question is clear to you the code and the logic you can find here you can take the screenshot for it okay next is implement queue using array similar thing just like queue follows fifo approach one two three four five how they will come out it will be one two three four five only i hope this difference is clear to you next question is find number of prime numbers in the given range first of all what are prime numbers prime numbers are those numbers which are only divisible by one or itself let's suppose seven i take seven is a prime number because it is only divisible by one and by itself but if i talk about nine so nine is not only divisible by one and itself it is also divisible by three therefore nine is not a prime number this is what a prime number is how you have to find all the prime numbers in the given range you can see in this algorithm you will run a loop from left to right inside the range and for every element you will check whether it is a prime or not so for checking the current element is a prime or not this is the function that is given bool is prime okay you will have here the logic is written that that particular number should not be divisible by any other number okay i hope this question is also clear to you okay it's a very important question that can be asked from you in the interview next question is reverse a link list again very important question okay i have just given the uh, main function here so that you get a bit of idea but how to form a link list how to take input and output i am not discussing here just for telling you about the important interview coding questions okay reverse a link list so you can again take a screenshot for it or what you can do is as i have discussed earlier in this video we have important interview it subject notes and inside those notes what we are covering we have if i will open that again just a second yeah inside those notes we have also given you the coding questions and these are the coding questions with their what i will say with their pseudo code are present inside this pdf okay and rest of the subjects also java python dbms sql operating system machine learning questions which can be asked from you in the cognizant, cognizant exam and important and commonly asked questions we have clubbed here inside these notes you can check out the links you can find in the description box okay so now let's continue with the video yeah next is rotate array so what is rotate array let's suppose one two three four five is the array and now we have to right shift this array by two that is four five one two three simple way of doing is what we'll do we will take first three elements we will reverse them we will take first three elements we will reverse them then we will take next two elements again we will reverse them 5 and 4 then we will reverse all these things like entire array so it will become 4 5 1 2 3 that is a desired result so this is what we are doing here inside this algorithm it's that simple of rotating an array i hope this question is clear to you next question is generate fibonacci series what is a fibonacci series starting with one or you can say zero one one two three five eight thirteen are you finding any pattern you can see the current element is equivalent to the sum of the past two elements okay again for every element 
the current element is equal to the sum of the past two elements. This is the simple Fibonacci series is. And this is the code for it. It's that simple. C equal to A plus B, A equal to B, B equal to C. Just for moving ahead. Okay. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is find the largest element in the array. So if we have, let's suppose 1, 5, 3, 4 and 2. If this is the array and we need to find the largest element inside the array. So 5 is the answer. What we will do, we will iterate over the entire array and one by one we will be checking whether this is the maximum element or not. And we will in the end, we will return the max value. So this is again a simple question but a common uh, important question for the interview. Next question is reverse a string. What do you mean by reverse a string? If we have code bashers, then reverse of the string will be S R E H S A B E D O C. This will be the reversal of a string. Again, very simple algorithm, but important question for your interview. Now, next coding question that is again important for your interview is find the duplicate elements inside the array. What do you mean by duplicate elements inside the array? Uh, if you have, let's suppose, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. So, you need to find that 2 and 3 are the duplicate elements inside the array. So, how we will find it? You can, uh, what you can do, you can store the count of each of the element inside the hash map. And those elements whose count is greater than 1, you th that means these are the duplicate elements. Or you can use a hash, uh, hash set also. Okay. So, these are the two ways of doing it. And... Uh, I have this algorithm is based on the hash map approach. I hope this question is also clear to you. Now the last question of this video is check if a string is palindrome or not. What do you mean by palindrome? If we have let's suppose code bash uh, no 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 this uh, uh, let's suppose l double a l is this string a palindrome or not? First of all what is a palindrome? Palindrome means a string should from left to right and from right to left it should sound similar it should have similar characters okay so this is a palindrome string yes how to do it this is the algorithm for doing it you can check it's the straightforward okay so this was a palindrome code i hope this is uh, clear to you so guys i have discussed around 14 15 questions in this particular video which are very important for your cognizant interview and they might repeat in your interviews as well whether it is for gen c next role or whether it is for gen c pro role these are important coding questions i hope everything is clear to you do write in the comment section that you want more such videos on for what topic you want these videos. I will be happy to make it. Okay. And guys, as discussed earlier, uh, for any subject you are preparing for your interviews, whether it is for Cognizant or any other sub uh, any other company, these subjects will remain com uh, same. And all the important questions are important for all the companies, not just for Cognizant, but for all the companies. So we are covering Java, Python, DBMS, SQL, coding questions, these type of subjects we have covered in these notes. Okay, and for every subject, we have around 20 to 25 important questions with their answers, how you have to explain in the interview. So if you are interested for your last minute preparation through these notes, you can get these notes in the description box. The links are in the description box. Thank you for watching this video and do join this channel group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay, thank you for watching this video.